It's waterproofing time. What I, be, what I will be using, I, I will be using this fiberglass tape. It's not like regular tape, mesh tape that you can uh, get in Home Depot or somewhere to put on the drywall seams. This type of tape we also using. We will be using this to uh, put it on the seams when we have our boards connected. But to waterproof the curb, the knee wall, the niche, this is the type of uh, uh, fiberglass tape you have to look for. Only this one will uh, combine with a waterproofing membrane will be as a, it will work pretty much like shower pen liner. It will after it dries it will turn exactly to a very similar product. Uh, this type of tape has holes too big. It's not going to be as uh, more, as well working as if we're using this type of fiberglass tape. This is the way to go. Uh, so what I'm doing, I already measure and pre cut those tape uh, pieces uh, to apply inside, on the corners, all the seams, uh, on the outside part. You'll see how I'm doing it. Some corner pieces, inside corner pieces, shorter, longer. Uh, have those pieces ready over there. I'll just look the way I'm working with this. The Waterproofing membrane I'm using is uh, uh, manufactured, I believe, by Laticrete. Uh, there are other different types, different manufacturers. This one is really good. It's fairly uh, also easy to apply. It's not like water. It's more like a butter, which is very helpful. Red guard membrane is a little bit too liquid. It's more designed to be applied with, with a roller brush or something. But um, I'm using this one. So, the, so what I'm doing, I'm first first thing, I'm trying to squeeze to fill the, all these seams with our membrane, with uh, this rubberized product as much as I can. I'm starting from those. this corner piece it's a smaller piece of this tape I had pre-cut I will place this nicely here in the corner another piece this puzzle. We want to make sure that the entire surface is pretty much taped, especially in the seams. Sometimes this might be a fairly dirty job. important part to waterproof is the bottom part of the niche because this is eventually where all this water will end up and my leak if not done correctly 
Okay, so we have those. Another piece goes here. It's nicely cut to the width of the shelf. Okay. So we have all this done. Another one will be this longer corner. Same situation. Putting as much as I can to fill the space. This purpose, this longer piece, customly measured and cut. Go over here. It will wrap around this outside, outside corner and also inside corner. Sometimes you will see contractors just applying red guard or any other or waterproofing without putting any type of tape. Uh, just so you know, if, this, if it's the niche that we they're trying to waterproof, this membrane without a tape, eventually in wider gaps or joints will crack. So, so the fiberglass tape is a must uh, to have those board uh, seems really waterproof to the point where it's safe to use the niche, use a shower. So doing this without any type of tape is not going to help you <laughs> waterproof the niche, just so you know. This is a mistake that I met with many, many times. Yes, well, I'm repeating the same process on the other side. And this longer joint is filled. It's exactly same situation. So yes, the last piece is the top part piece. This we will place it here. I'm also applying this on top of any screw hole that I have present inside of this shelf. niche, built-in recessed shelf niche, however you want to call it, is 
finished, is waterproofed nicely inside. Now we have to let it dry. Oh, I see some spot that I missed. So this is it, let it dry and it's ready to be tiled and it won't leak if you do it correctly following my steps. Liquid waterproofing membrane and fiberglass tape, no this type of tape. That's it, now we will be waterproofing shower. Same situation.